Now, in this next video, I've had a bit of an idea. Um, just to make your quiz a bit simpler. Remember how binary numbers are ones and zeros. And this digit here, the furthest one on the right, represents how many ones there are in the number. If there's a one, there there is a one in the number. If there's a zero, there isn't. This one's about twos. If it's zero, there are no twos. If it's one, there's, two, there's a two. Then it's fours. Then it's eights. So ones, twos, fours, and eights. What I've done in Scratch is I've just changed my questions. So how many ones are there in the binary number? How many twos are there? How many fours are there? And how many eights are there? And I've kept my instruction to only type ones or zeros. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create some variables to store the answers that our user gives to each of these questions. So we need to go to the data tab. If you're in Scratch 1.4 this will be called variables and you click make a variable. And I'm going to call my first variable ones and click OK. Now what we want here after you've asked how many ones there are is we want to set the variable ones to equal the answer that the user gives here. So you set you use this set ones to then go to sensing and there's a little block called answer and you drop that in. So you set ones to the answer. The next thing you do go back to data, create your variable, make it call this one twos. Then it would be set twos to answer because by this time the answer is the answer to this question and so on and so on. So you should have variables for ones, twos, fours and eights and a little bit of script like this in your code. Go and have a go at completing that.